into the tourniquet round. Let's bring out those veins. And in a moment, there'll be a sharp scratch at those veins. Okay. The first thing we do is get comfy and clean you up. Are you all right with needles there? Yes, I am, yeah, yeah. What do you call this device? That's so this is called a vacutain system, and they're, uh, they're safe because we don't touch that end of a needle. It's all safely in the hilt. And, uh, and the long bit is called a butterfly. Okay. So there'll be a sharp scratch coming up in just a second. One, two, three. Well done. And that's in. That was fairly straightforward, wasn't it? Yeah, lovely. Then it's already got a vacuum in there, so feels under its own vacuum. Just... Thank you, I don't... <laughs> so, there's no syringes, no waving needles around. Okay. Uh, and it takes a little while just to fill under its own steam. If you take the blood out too quickly, it can break the blood cells. Okay. They release potassium and haemoglobin and you can get uh, erroneous values and it can okay. kill the T cells that I'm interested in. So the first tube is a clotted serum tube. It's got something to activate clot formation. So um, it will start clotting in the tube as it goes on. This one is the opposite. It contains lithium heparin which is designed to prevent coagulation. Uh, and so this will mean that the white cells that I'm interested in will stay floating in the blood and we'll be able okay. to separate those out in the lab in just a few minutes. I let it fill up to the line. And it looks like a lot, but it's actually only 9 mils of blood, which is a few teaspoonfuls. Okay. It's made by my sponsors, Betton and Dickinson. Excellent. <laughs> take off the tourniquet before we take out the needle. And, yeah. Excellent. Sometimes stings a bit when you take out the needle because there's a bit of... Um, blood released into the tissues and okay. your nociceptors pick that up and it stings. And first we're going to mix them with just some salty water. The water has to be salty otherwise it's not isosmotic. Yeah. Uh, the cells will all lies. We're going to start, this is a very dense liquid called lymph prep, which is going to um, separate out the red blood cells from the white blood cells. So the white blood cells are less dense than this, and the red blood cells are more dense than it. This is where we employ our skills found in the cocktail bar. You have to layer it very gently. Now, blood is denser than water, but this phycol is denser than blood. So we, we pour it so you get a, a thin layer which is, you've got what's called an interphase between the clear phycol and the mixture of blood and salty water. And we have to do this really slowly. If you disturb the layer then you get a mess at the end of the day and you won't be able to separate the cells properly. This wouldn't work if the um, blood was clotted, so that's why we add the lithium, lithium heparin to stop coagulation. Now we're going to put, put it in the centrifuge and spin it at 800G. We do it at 4 degrees, about half an hour, and we get it to speed up slowly and slow down slowly. That's the bustle. And, ooh, hold on. Do it. 21 degrees. I'll be ready in half an hour. So we've got the red blood cells, lymph prep the white cell there, 
and then plasma at the top. So plasma because it's not clotted, so the clotting factors are still in there. And most of the platelets are kind of in there. This is where we want to be. I'm going to collect that layer of white cells with this little cluster. This is mostly to wash off the platelets and the bits of plasma that that comes out of. Cells are uh, less than 70 micrometers across, so this is a uh, sorry, this is a 100 micrometer strainer. should let small cells through, but nothing larger than that. And then, guess what, we stick it back in the centrifuge again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all you can see is the red cells, which is what we try to get rid of, but basically there's a very thin layer of white cells. And the white cells would be underneath the red, would they? Yeah. So, not much to see, because white cells are very small. Uh, there's the old red cell which made it through, but can you see that little rim of cells at the bottom? Yeah, good. So we swim them in more or less the milk. We have to swirl them around to mix them up. So now we're going to count them. We've got 10 microliters of cells there. We we'll mix them with the, the dye I mentioned. And we put them into this not very clean. Uh, I'll take it to the max kit.